What's up, everybody? I'm going to show you guys how to bypass the capture portal for various uh, public Wi Fi's in cafes or Starbucks or hotels or wherever you go. Uh, a lot of these places do have this as a security, which can be hurdle if you're trying to connect uh, your router, a uh, traffic router, as a VPN, tail scale, or wire guard. So I'm going to quickly show you the settings that will help you to bypass that basically. So I'm going to log into my router. Uh, I do have to mention that this is specifically for GLI net routers, Linux systems, basically. All right. So I'm in the admin panel. And so you connect to the internet, obviously. Uh, when you try to connect to the internet through the Wi-Fi, it's going to ask you to log in. And if the pop-up, the login page does not pop up for you to certify or put in a code or whatever, then you have to make sure that you go into the VPN and make sure if you're using WireGuard, then you have that turned off as a client or a server. Or if you're using any VPN, open VPN or any VPN, server or client or whatever you got going on here, you want to make sure you have that turned off. And then uh, that's one thing you want to do. Second thing you want to do is go to applications. And so you see, I got TailScale activated here. So I'm using TailScale. So you you could, this is not absolutely necessary because uh, TailScale does sometimes take a few moments to start up. So you could uh, end, stop this and for, for the moment until you connect to the Wi-Fi. And next, next thing you want to do is make sure AdGuard is turned off. So in my case, it is turned off. So I, I don't use it, actually. So if you, don't want, if you do use that, you want to make sure that's turned off. And the last thing you want to do, well, not the last thing, the second last thing you want to do is go to network and go to DNS and make sure that you have your DNS into automatic. Okay. So you want to put automatic and apply and I have it in manual because I'm using Telskill, which is more compatible with that and more recommended for Telskill to avoid DNS conflicts, basically. So having said that, uh, the last thing you want to do is some people create a firewall for the uh, Telskill, like a kill switch if they're using their router in a different location, uh, you know, they, they don't want their IP address exposed. So what you want to do is go to Lucy, go to the root of the system, Who is going to network firewall and so this would be the setup if you wanted to have a kill switch setup a uh, zone for the wire guard uh, in case there's a problem with your exit node or whatever server IP address uh, internet so you want to make sure so this would be the setup so this is the setup that I have and what you want to do is go to edit and you want to add when you want to add this back and then save okay i'm not doing that but i'm just showing this save save and apply okay so obviously i have no changes to save but you do that make sure you have one there and that's temporary you can bring it back you can put it back as you have it here um, once you have logged in through the capture portal so this is one of the things that one of the last things that I had faced when I had problems connecting, logging into a capture portal, public Wi-Fi. So I tried everything else, the DNS, everything. However, nothing else worked. So this this definitely helped. Uh, last but not least. So what you can do is, uh, let's go right here. Hypothetically, if this was the public Wi-Fi that I'm trying to connect to, uh, that requires a capture portal. So it wouldn't let me, it'll show connecting or logging, whatever, but that doesn't pop up, right? So what you would do is uh, modify, this is the MAC address, okay? This is probably the random MAC address. So what you would do is go to modify and you're going to, you would put ran, from random, you're going to say clone. So if you say clone, it gives you, you can manually put in the MAC address here. You can type it in. See that? You can type it in. So what you would do is you would get your phone and then connect to that Wi-Fi, and then once you log in successfully through the capture portal, you're going to go into the settings under the Wi-Fi for, for that Wi-Fi, 
in your phone, it's going to give you a MAC address. So that assigned MAC address that you have, you're going to copy that and put it right here. So basically, your phone's MAC address is going to mimic what you have here and clone it, and that will allow you to successfully log in and bypass the, cap bypass the capture point. Now, bear in mind that it will take a few moments uh, because you're using two devices, so there may be a little bit of lag in the speed for, for some time. However, I would recommend not using one device uh, and use the other one, whichever you're using, at a given time rather than using both. So that's it. That's how you bypass the capture portal and, you know, uh, hope you don't get stuck and be able to use all the internets out there. Good luck.